You're staring again. Well, you're beautiful. Beauty is nothing to base a relationship on. No, but it's a good place to start. Is that youth pastor out there yet? He's here. He didn't look so young. Youth pastor just means you're a pastor of youth, not a pastor who's young. He's a little touchy, too. You ready to go? Yeah. You want to change? No, nah, got the evening service. We're still in our series on the power of the Holy Spirit. For your own sake, never date, never think about dating, never flirt with, never look at inappropriately, never approach in any amorous fashion the senior pastor's eldest daughter. So that's why I'm the new guy. Pastor Skip has his heart set on the worship leader. You say tomato, and I say tomato. You say potato, and I say potato. Okay, I think tomato is pronounced differently the second time. There's only one way to say tomato. You're crazy. <laughs> Let's do it again. One, two, three, go. If you don't realize your beauty puts men at an extreme disadvantage because it ties them up inside and pulls their tongues down their throat, then it's high time someone enlightened you as to that fact. That was a compliment. Technically? I have something really, really big planned for Good Friday this year. We're gonna have a crucifixion. Yeah, they're called passion plays. Oh, no, 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 no. An actual crucifixion. And how does this involve me? <laughs> All right, youth pastor, high five. I heard you're gonna get crucified. That's so cool. Is it gonna be biblical? You get to get naked. <laughs> now that's something my mom would come to church for. No one's getting crucified. Put your hand down. Doctor, we hope to avoid any nerve damage. Who says Christians aren't funny? Christians have always been funny, just not on purpose. Give me a little, come on. You can do it. Little, you got a punch. That's what I'm talking about.